The right-wing media tell us that we can't afford to bring our services into public ownership. The truth is, we can't afford not to. Right now, we're all being ripped off with our rail fares, our bus fares, our water and energy bills. And our public services are underinvested in, while shareholders are walking away with huge profits. Privatisation is wasteful and inefficient because of those shareholder dividends, because it's more expensive for the private sector to borrow to invest, government can borrow more cheaply, and because we're creating markets where they don't belong and that creates inefficiency and fragmentation. All of that means that we're wasting £13 billion every year on privatisation. That's £250 million every single week. So bringing our water into public ownership would save £2.5 billion a year. That's enough to reduce leakage levels by a third. Bringing our energy networks into public hands would save £3.7 billion a year, enough to buy 222 new offshore wind turbines. Bringing our railway into public ownership would save a billion pounds a year, enough to invest in 100 miles of new railway track. Bringing buses into public ownership saves 506 million a year. That's enough to buy 1,356 new electric buses or reinstate bus routes across the country. Bringing our Royal Mail into public ownership will save 171 million a year, so we can reopen 342 new Crown post offices with post banks across the country. Public ownership of broadband will save £500 million a year. That's enough to deliver full fibre broadband to 6 million households. And ending the internal market in our NHS will save £4.5 billion a year at least, enough to pay for 72,000 nurses and 20,000 doctors. Right now we're wasting billions of pounds on shareholders. That's money that could be invested in tackling the climate crisis and creating a fairer society. It's time for public services for people, not profit. Thank <laughs> you.